the AI competition just took another unexpected twist. Just when it seemed like DeepSeek was poised to dominate China's AI industry, Alibaba fired back with a bold move, releasing a model it claims outperforms DeepSeek Phi 3, GPT 4.0, and LLAM a 3.145B. So how did we get here and why does this rivalry between DeepSeek and Alibaba matter in the larger battle for AI supremacy? Let's break it down. For months, DeepSeek had been making waves, shaking up both domestic competitors and Silicon Valley. The Chinese AI startup quickly disrupted the market, proving it was more than just another small player. It was a serious contender. On January 10th, DeepSeek launched DeepSeek 5.3, a model that stunned the industry with its high performance and incredibly low cost. Then, just 10 days later, it unveiled DeepSeek R1, further pushing the boundaries of AI capabilities. The impact was immediate and massive. Investors took notice. DeepSeek's models were suddenly competing with OpenAI and Google's most advanced systems, but at a fraction of the cost. The shockwaves were so strong that tech stocks even started to take a hit. Investors started to question whether companies like OpenAI and Google could continue justifying their enormous budgets when a lean Chinese startup, DeepSeek, was achieving similar results at a fraction of the cost. Just when it seemed like DeepSeek was unstoppable, Alibaba struck back. On January 29th, the first day of the Lunar New Year when most of China was on holiday, Alibaba Cloud made a bold move, launching Quen 2.5 Max, an AI model it claimed was more powerful than DeepSeek Phi 3 and even OpenAI's GPT 4.0. This wasn't just a competitive response. It was a clear statement that DeepSeek wasn't the only AI disruptor in China. DeepSeek's rapid rise had already shaken the AI industry proving that a small, focused team could compete with global tech giants. Now, Alibaba had entered the race with its own generative AI model, challenging not just DeepSeek but also OpenAI, Google, and China's other AI powerhouse, Baidu. DeepSeek wasn't always considered a major player. It seemed to emerge out of nowhere. Unlike massive tech corporations weighed down by bureaucracy, DeepSeek operated more like a research lab, lean, agile, and hyper-focused. Founded by Liang Wenfeng, the company didn't rely on thousands of employees. Instead, it was driven by a small, elite team of researchers from China's top universities, all working toward a single goal, advancing AI faster and more affordably than anyone else. The game-changing moment came in May 2024 when DeepSeek unveiled DeepSeek 5.2, a model that completely upended AI pricing. Not only was it open source, but it was also shockingly affordable, costing just 14 cents per million tokens. The impact was immediate. China's biggest AI players, including Alibaba, Baidu, and Tencent, had no choice but to react. Alibaba responded by slashing its AI prices by up to 97%. And soon after, Baidu and Tencent were forced to follow suit. Practically overnight, DeepSeek wasn't just a leader in AI innovation. It became China's most disruptive AI startup, changing the game both technologically and economically. Then, in early 2025, DeepSeek Phi 3 and R1 hit the market, sending shockwaves far beyond China. Silicon Valley took notice of DeepSeek's rapid rise, but Alibaba wasn't about to let its rival dominate the conversation. With its vast resources, infrastructure, and market control, Alibaba was ready to fight back. On January 29th, Alibaba Cloud made a bold move, unveiling Quen 2.5 Max and claiming it was superior to DeepSeek 5.3, GPT 4.0, and Meta's LLAMA 3.1405B. This was a major statement, not just because of the well-known AI models it was challenging, but because it positioned Alibaba as a direct competitor to some of the most advanced AI systems in the world. The announcement was made through Alibaba Cloud's official WeChat account, where the company asserted that Quen 2.5 Max outperformed these leading models in nearly every aspect. If true, this would mean Alibaba had leapfrogged not only DeepSeek, but also OpenAI and Meta, two of the biggest names in AI. But can Quen 2.5 Max really be a game changer? Alibaba's claims raise big questions, not just for the AI race in China, but for the global industry as a whole. However, with no full benchmark results released yet, these statements remain unverified. If Alibaba's claims hold up, the balance of power in AI could shift dramatically. Quen 2.5 Max claims to outperform both DeepSeek Phi 3 and OpenAI's GPT-4, potentially making it one of the most powerful AI models in the world. However, without independent testing to verify these claims, the question remains, can Alibaba truly back up its bold statements? Another major factor in this AI battle is pricing. DeepSeek shook up the industry by forcing massive price cuts across China, making high-quality AI models more affordable than ever. But while DeepSeek relied on a lean, cost-effective approach, Alibaba has deep financial reserves and an extensive infrastructure. This gives it a major advantage in a long-term price war. 
allowing it to sustain losses that smaller AI startups simply can't. The big question now is whether Alibaba will make Quen 2.5 Max open source. DeepSeek's decision to open source its models played a huge role in its rapid adoption and put pressure on bigger AI companies. If Alibaba follows the same strategy, it could shift momentum in its favor and position itself as the new leader in China's AI race. The battle between Chinese AI and Silicon Valley is heating up, and the outcome could reshape the future of AI on a global scale. The battle between DeepSeek and Alibaba is just one piece of a much larger AI war, one that goes far beyond China. DeepSeek's rapid rise in aggressive pricing didn't just put Alibaba on the defensive. It forced other Chinese tech giants like ByteDance, Baidu, and Tencent to step up their AI efforts as well. ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, wasted no time responding. Just two days after DeepSeek R1 launched, ByteDance rolled out an AI update, claiming that its flagship model had outperformed OpenAI's GPT 4.0 in AM benchmark testing. AM is one of the most respected AI benchmarks, measuring how well models understand and execute complex instructions. If ByteDance's claims are accurate, it means Chinese AI models are now competing head-to-head -head with Silicon Valley's best. But the bigger picture here is that this isn't just a battle between DeepSeek and Alibaba. It's part of a global AI arms race, one that's intensifying by the day. The AI arms race between China and the United States is heating up, with both nations competing fiercely for dominance in artificial intelligence. For years, Silicon Valley led the charge with tech giants like OpenAI, Google DeepMind, and Meta setting the pace. But recent developments suggest that China is rapidly closing the gap. Companies like DeepSeek are shaking up the industry by producing high-performance AI models at a fraction of the cost, putting serious pressure on U.S. tech leaders. The rapid advancements from DeepSeek, Alibaba, ByteDance, and Baidu show that China is no longer just trying to catch up. It's now competing on equal footing. This raises a crucial question. Can Silicon Valley maintain its dominance in AI, or will the future of artificial intelligence be shaped in China? And as competition intensifies, can DeepSeek continue to thrive after disrupting the industry, or will it struggle to keep up against tech giants with far greater resources? Alibaba's counterattack. Unlike Alibaba, DeepSeek operates with a lean, highly specialized team of elite researchers rather than a sprawling corporate structure. This agility allows it to move fast and push the boundaries of AI innovation. However, it also means that DeepSeek lacks the deep financial backing and vast infrastructure that giants like Alibaba and Baidu possess. DeepSeek's founder, Liang Wenfeng, has made it clear that his focus isn't on price wars. His true goal is artificial general intelligence, AGI. AGI refers to AI systems that can perform any intellectual task a human can, making it the ultimate milestone in AI research. But here's the challenge. While DeepSeek was the disruptor in 2024, it's now the one under pressure. Alibaba's launch of Quen 2.5 Max is a direct power move from a company with the financial resources, infrastructure, and market dominance to outlast a smaller AI startup. The big question now is whether DeepSeek can hold on to its first mover advantage. Can it keep up its rapid pace of innovation, or will Alibaba overwhelm it with superior funding, infrastructure, and global reach? At the same time, DeepSeek's open source approach has given it a strong foothold in the AI community, making it a favorite among developers. This widespread adoption could be its greatest strength in the battle for AI dominance. If DeepSeek can continue developing cutting-edge AI models at ultra-low costs, it might withstand Alibaba's challenge and remain a key player. However, if Alibaba also decides to go open source, DeepSeek could lose its biggest competitive edge. One thing is certain, the AI race is far from over, and DeepSeek's future is anything but guaranteed. What we're witnessing isn't just a battle between two companies, it's a global shift in AI dominance. China's AI firms are rising at an unprecedented pace, and for the first time, Silicon Valley is facing real competition. DeepSeek came out of nowhere and shook up the industry, but now it's up against Alibaba, a tech giant with deep pockets and massive infrastructure. So what comes next? Will DeepSeek's ability to innovate quickly and efficiently keep it ahead? Or will Alibaba's corporate power and scale crush the competition? And beyond this rivalry, will China's AI revolution push Silicon Valley onto the defensive? This AI war is only just beginning, and the winner is far from decided. If you've made it this far, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And for more fascinating AI discussions, check out the recommended video on your screen. Thanks for watching.